Norfolk, Connecticut. And just a stone's throw from the snow-covered town green. There are stones to throw atop the ice. Every four years, they gain traction at the Norfolk Curling Club. Not Norfolk. It's Norfolk or Norfolk. No, not folk, not Norfolk. Like clockwork, there's an increasing curiosity surrounding the centuries-old sport. People love watching the Olympics. They love watching those unique sports that you only see on TV once every four years. And curling ranks at the top. And when people find out that there are two curling clubs, dedicated curling clubs in Connecticut, they go, how come we haven't heard of that before? And they want to try it. Competition here dates back to 1956. And Wednesdays are for the Legends League, where they speak their own language. John Barbagallo is the chief ice tech here. So uh, some of the key terminology are the rocks, uh, the house, the hacks, the brooms, sweeping, draw shots, takeouts, peels. There's a lot to it. Everybody's intrigued by curling. They watch it, they don't quite know all the rules, and it has so many more nuances than anybody could ever imagine. And this year, perhaps more excitement on the ice than ever, because in 2018, the U.S. men won the gold in curling. And it was a huge boost to the sport. Reaching the target might be tough, but their aim is simple to attract more people to get into the game. It's a fun year whenever the Olympics uh, give us the, uh, the chance to open up our, our sport to the world. Come and try it because you will not appreciate what you're seeing on TV and what those athletes are doing until you actually come down here and try it out. In Norfolk, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.